The T server has a special utility called a C panel or a control panel. This allows you to do things like if you were, were in real life hosting, you could set up email. But for us, it allows us to set up a database and install different products. So I'm going to show you how to get access to the C panel for your T server. So open up any browser. This one I'm using Chrome. And you want to type in HTTPS colon, and that stands for Secure Server. And then put in your username. I'm using pedroj.t.southcentral.edu. And then you have to go in through a specific port or an entry software entryway, and that's colon 2083. So we're telling... Um, the server that we want to come in this special doorway. Now when you go out to this website it's going to say well this this has a cert certificate the T server has a certificate that you can't be trusted. Well we know we can trust it so we're going to proceed anyway and I'm going to put in my username and your password is your student ID And I'll log in. And this is the cPanel. Now, depending upon your browser, you may have a series of other messages that you get on that security warning. Um, just say, yes, I want to, and, and keep working through that. And then usually it saves it on your browser memory. And next time you come back to that page, it, it automatically goes to the cPanel. So just to highlight, you want to type in HTTPS colon slash slash. Now the reason Google makes this uh, red is because we said that it's, it's well, are going to accept it, but it's not a secure site. Um, then your username, t.southcentral.edu, and then the doorway we want to go in is doorway 2083. And then this brings us to our cPanel. And you can see there's lots of different tools and different things you can do. In the next video, what we're going to be doing is making a new database. And then later on, if we need to look at our databases, we'll look at PHP My Admin, which is a really nice tool to show you what databases look like. Most of this stuff you won't want to mess around with until you get further training or have a specific need. But keep in mind that this cPanel that we have on the T server is this uh, similar cPanel is available on Bluehost and a multitude of other hosting services.